Whenever we walk into a supermarket or store, we see an array of canned food. Canning has really revolutionized the preservation of food. It is one of the most popular techniques of extending the shelf life of edibles. From baked beans to pineapple slices, a wide variety of food can be preserved by canning. Canned food is affordable, convenient, and easily accessible. The U.S. canned foods market size was estimated at $16.35 billion in 2017 and is estimated to grow at a rate of 4%. The process of canning was discovered by Nicholas Appert in 1809. In the early 19th century, Napoleon offered 12,000 francs to any inventor who could devise a cheap and effective method of preserving large amounts of food for his army. Nicholas, who was a confectioner and a brewer, put the food in a glass jar, sealed it with cork, and placed the jar in boiling water. He successfully preserved the army supplies and a new technique of food shelf life enhancement was born, which we call as canning. The reason for lack of spoilage was unknown at the time, since it would be another 50 years before Louis Pasteur demonstrated the role of microbes in food spoilage. Canning works on a principle known as heat sterilization. Heat sterilization is the application of high heat to kill any microorganism present in the food or the can. The first step in canning is filling up the food in the can. Today, it is possible to can most of the foods. The most common material for making cans is tin plate owing to its resistance to corrosion. Steel cans and aluminum cans with an inner layer of tin are used on a wide scale. In the next step, either sugar syrup or brine is added to the food in can. This is done to enhance the taste and to ensure that food doesn't get burnt during the application of high heat. Air is then removed from the cans and the cans are sealed. Removal of air helps in eliminating the risk of oxidation during storage, while sealing makes sure no external microorganism, foreign material, moisture or light can enter the can. The cans are then subjected to high temperature which is generally above 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit at high pressure. The primary causes of food spoilage are bacteria, molds, and fungi. The application of such a high amount of heat kills all the spoilage causing microorganisms in the can, and since the can is sealed, there is no way for them to enter inside. Therefore, food remains microbe-free and hence is not spoiled for a long time. The cans are then cooled and labeled. Canned foods require no preservatives and can be kept at room temperature. There was a time when it was impossible to preserve food for more than a day, but with canning, food can be kept safe for 1-5 to five years. In 1974, samples of canned food from the wreck of a steamboat that sank in 1865 were tested and there was no trace of microbial growth and the 109-year-old food was determined to be still safe to eat. Today, a lot of new techniques like freeze-drying and aseptic packaging are used to prolong the shelf life of foods, but canning still remains the most popular choice owing to its low cost and high reliability. This video was sponsored by f1jobs.co. This website lets you navigate through all the available jobs in every team. The job listing is regularly updated and you can apply for various positions easily.